What's up, Tamers? So with the brand new Kiso update, we can now take a closer look at the brand new Temtem Yowler and its competitive role, who was first introduced to us during the battle against Musa, the Vumbi Dojo leader, but now obtainable in the Kisibo Island. So before we dive into it, if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing for more Temtem content. So, Yaller is a neutral type Temtem and its only weakness is metal type Temtem. Also, Yaller has no resistance whatsoever. So, now let's take a look at Yaller's overall base stat. Yaller's HP is the best stat at 96, which is great. Its stamina does fall behind at 71, but it's still good. Its speed, however, drops to a mere 40, which is bad, and it's the lowest stat out of the rest. However, Yara does bounce back with good attack at 80 and defense at 86. From there, Yara's special attack drops to 50 and his special defense is at 74. So overall, Yara has great HP, decent stamina with good physical attack and defense but lacks in speed. Now when it comes to traits, uh, the two traits that Yowler can learn are either Comebacker or Cold-Blooded. A Comebacker is a brand new trait and a signature trait of Yowler. When attacked by a rival, damage done to the attacker is increased by 50% during the same turn which is my preferred trait. Now for Cold-Blooded, if it tempts him, like Yowler is inflicted with the cold condition, it instead regenerates for two turns. Now let's take a look at the techniques Yowler can learn and these are the ones I recommend. The first technique is Clinch. A neutral physical attack does 85 damage at the cost of 14 stamina with no hold, plus you get the added stab bonus. Next technique will be Show Off. It's a statue's condition that costs 7 stamina with no hold. Show Off increases the user attack by one stage. And if you use with a melee ally, the user also gains the Vigorous condition for 3 turns, uh, which lowers the stamina cost of a Vigorous Temtem by 50%. So partner up Yaller with a melee ally. Another good technique is Savage Suplex. It's a physical neutral attack that does 150 damage at the cost of 24 stamina with one hold. Plus you get the stab bonus and it inflicts the target with the exhaust condition for 2 turns. An exhaust Tentum stamina cost is increased by 50%. For the last technique, either Hibernate or Winter Call uh, depending on the trait. Hibernate is a statue's condition that costs 25 stamina with 2 hold. Hibernate inflicts the user uh, with the frozen condition for 3 turns but restores 40% of its maximum HP and stamina. While Winter Call is best used if your Yowler trait is cold blooded. Winter Call is another statue's condition that costs 20 stamina with 3 hold. A Winter Call inflicts the cold condition on all the targets on the battlefield for 2 turns. If your Yaller is inflicted with cold, it instead regenerates for 2 turns with the cold blooded trait. So these are the techniques that I recommend. And for egg moves, Yaller can learn through breeding, toughen, a statue's condition that costs 15 stamina with 1 hole which increases the user's defense by 2 stages, which is similar to Block, which can be taught to Yaller through a technique course. For allies to team up with Yaller, I recommend a melee Temtem to get the synergy boost for Show Off, so Yaller can get that vigorous condition uh, for 3 turns and a Temtem like Kinu, since Kinu is one of the best Temtems as of now that boosts its ally stats. So overall, Yaller is a good neutral Temtem to try out on your team 
and it does rank well in the meta. Well, thanks for watching. If you're new to my channel, consider subscribing for more Tencent content. And check out my Tencent playlist for more videos. Peace out.